This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Hi guys! Look who I have today! It's my mom. Hello. I almost called her my twin because hey y'all, <laughs> we look really similar. I got all of my thrifting we and love a good deal. yeah, yeah, my <laughs> thrill of the hunt from my mom for sure. I grew up you taking me to garage sales. garage sales. That's where it all started. Garage sales, and then we would go to the what's the thrift store that's close to the house called the lighthouse. The lighthouse home. children's home. We used to always go there, and we would get all those dress up clothes. And when you forget your luggage on trip. <laughs> Wait, oh my God, we're getting derailed, but you have to hear this story. So in seventh grade, we went on a vacation, like a two week vacation to Colorado. We lived in Tallahassee, that's where I'm from. So we would drive two hours to the airport in Jacksonville. And we get to Jacksonville and we're on the shuttle to the airport. And I'm we like- get out of the truck when we get ready to get on the shuttle. Yeah, go, where's my suitcase? <laughs> And nobody brought my suitcase, including myself. So I had no clothes on this two week vacation. And so I was thinking like, oh, we're gonna get to go shopping. Like we're gonna go to the mall. And my mom was like, nope, we're going to the Goodwill. We did go to Kmart. We did go to Kmart. Underwear. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for not making me wear secondhand Goodwill underwear. That's where I draw the line. But honestly, it was a blessing in disguise because I went there and I remember they had like, at the time, you know, everybody was into American Eagle and Hollister. And I just remember finding all of those brands and I was like, this is amazing. Like I can thrift all these things. And so that's where I feel like I really started thrifting a lot. And then I would actually go and I thought it was cool, but it was, it was still taboo at the time. I wouldn't tell anybody because yeah, I thought it people- Yeah, popular then. No, I thought people were going to make fun of me, but look at me now, mom. So today we're we're gonna do some Black Friday thrifting and antiquing. It's just what we love to do together. So we're at one of my favorite antique markets in St. Louis called the Hill Antique Market. And it's a bunch of booths. And then we're gonna go take my mom to my favorite thrift store, Family Thrift. So we're gonna head into the antique market and then we'll head on over to the thrift store. We went and got Starbucks. I got a holiday drink and Yep, we're gonna take you along on our mother-daughter day of thrifting and antiquing in St. Louis. <laughs> Before we head into the thrift store, I want to reintroduce today's video sponsor, which is Squarespace. By now you guys know I love Squarespace's platform. I use Squarespace to host my blog, but I love that Squarespace is really customizable to whatever need you have, whether you're starting a new shop or maybe you wanna showcase your photography, Squarespace has got you. I've had my website tailormadestyle.com for many years and about six months ago decided to switch to Squarespace to host my website and they made it super easy to just switch my domain name over to them with a couple clicks of the button. If you're wanting to create a new website and buy a new domain, you can also buy it directly from Squarespace so they make it super easy either way to switch or to create a new website. So if you're ready to join me on Squarespace, you can go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch your website, you can go to squarespace.com slash tailormade style to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Spotted these little like ceramic dice from across the room. If you guys remember a couple years ago, I made my own stockings out of quilts and these would match so perfectly. Look how cute those are. I don't know where you'd put them. Maybe like a, my mom says just to put them in a little basket, but these are little Christmas trees and little ornaments. That's so darling. I love quilted stuff. I've never felt the need for a tape dispenser, but I love the 70s one. Isn't that so cute? Little dice ashtrays. See how they have the little spot for your cigarette there. They're each $5 and I kind of want them. We were thinking we could do either candles or like a little plant, like an air plant in them. How cute would those be like on a table? My mom's getting this teacup for our neighbor. Her daughter's getting married and what, they need a bunch of tea, tea kettles? Put teapots on the table. Oh, teapots. Oh, that's so cute. Teapots on the tables for the oh, wedding. That yeah, that's perfect. It's really cute. This is my dream Christmas tree. We have a light. Oh, that shines on it? It light that shine on it. It had four colors and it went around in a circle. Oh, cool. And so it would, you know, change the colors on it. Uh-huh. Look how pretty these ornaments are, though. I really want some of these vintage ornaments. And they really show up on it, don't they? Yeah. I love it. 
this booth I always like going to. They have a couple little pieces of homeware over here, but look at this scarf. Nope, I thought this was gonna be soft, but it's quite scratchy. Ooh, look at this scarf. That looks nice. I am looking for a cool holiday dress to wear to a holiday party. She has like a really nice little lingerie section. I love wearing lingerie as everyday wear. This booth has so many necklaces. I feel like, yeah, you have this one, <laughs> that one. Look at all their earrings. They have a lot of little Christmas sweaters, so maybe I find a cool, I'd be open to a sweatshirt too. I don't want anything like too tacky. You <laughs> and Willie. RuPaul, Willie. This is a good idea for Christmas. Just put a bunch of like ornaments or lights, old lights in a jar. Half the time I go to these like vintage and estate sales, I always just go and get ideas. <laughs> I'm like, ooh, I could do that. This is 50, so can you find anything with the red handle? Oh, that's 50s? 50s? So what is that? This. Is this also a cookie cutter? This is 40s. Oh, the, the green, green is 40s. The green is 40s and the red is 50s. We're getting a history lesson from my mom today. <laughs> Thank okay, I'm gonna get this. I don't know okay. what it is, but I just wanted to <laughs> I have my eye on something over here, though. I see this quilted something. Like, what is this? <sighs> Wait. What am I doing? You're filming me. Okay, what? Is it's it filming. on? Yeah. Oh, okay. They're <laughs> <laughs> really good quality videos today, guys. Oh, that's really neat. The only thing I'm unsure about is this, like, shawl collar. Things are, are really cool, though. Yeah. The pattern is so cool, but yeah, I just don't think I like this like shawl collar. So I've been looking for some vintage ornaments because I'm doing kind of like a very vintage tree this year. And look at these little ones. They say Merry Christmas. These little like dancing girls on them. I think I'm gonna get these. Look, it's like in its little original box and everything. This is one of my favorite booths over here. The last time I was here, I got this gorgeous 70s set. I'll have to insert a photo here, but she just has a really good selection of stuff. Oh, this looks so comfortable. That's a good little holiday dress. Every time I come here, I look at this. This vintage seller, Rada Vintage, hopefully I'm pronouncing it correctly, has two booths here. This one is her accessories booth and she has some of the best stuff. We'll go to her clothing booth in a second. She specializes in a lot of vintage denim and she just has like some insane pieces. I remember when we first were looking at places in St. Louis, we came here and I was obsessed like before we even moved here. So <laughs> I've been a fan for a long time and she's so nice. She gave me a gift card to use today. And so we're gonna pick out a couple of things, but this is all of her vintage um, accessories and everything. She has so many good little like handbags. Here is her second booth. She has both sides here. She has a lot of like holiday dresses over there, some nightgowns and like lingerie. And then that's her whole like denim section, jackets. I know, isn't that pretty? It's like suede and knit, yeah. She even has a lot of um, like homeware kind of things. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to dig in. Mm -hmm. 
Every time I come here, I look at this. Isn't that cool? I feel like I could wear this as an actual dress. Not right now, <laughs> it's too cold out. But every time I come here, I just love this pattern that it has. Okay, I found two pairs of jeans. I don't know if they're gonna fit. I don't know if I can try them on, but we're gonna see. So I found these that are like a medium wash and they're high rise. I love the dish dressing and this color. And then these are a comfort fit Levi's. I like how baggy they are. So I'm gonna try these two out. She has a bunch of other little sweaters I'm gonna go through now. I just have to show you this one. I love this cardigan. It has like the little puff sleeve. I have a bunch of these that are just regular sweaters, but this one is a cardigan. So I've been looking for more cardigans like this because I just, I don't have any. I was like not a cardigan girl for so long and now I'm kind of obsessed. This would be such a good gift if you just bought like cheap ornaments and then crocheted. I love this lamp. It looks like the one I almost bought, but I didn't. One of my favorite booths in this whole antique market. They just have such cool like home pieces. I almost got this for our living room, this light. Oh. Wait, I love this. Wow, that's cool. I've never seen something like that before. It is very Art Deco. It's definitely Art Deco. It kind of has like a disco sort of ball effect here and it attaches to the wall. That's really cool. We're already finding this. <laughs> he got a little wonky. Oh, here's another one. Ooh, these are cute. Okay, yay. Okay, mom and I are now looking at the prices. This one's five something. This one's six something. That one's seven something. Yeah. These are five dollars at Target. Excuse me? I have a disco themed tree this year with a lot of like vintage ornaments and I really like these little vintage disco ball ornaments but then it's like with all these other things that I don't really want. Here's one of these uh, big scarves. I'm gonna need it for this Midwestern cold. I really like this though. Prices here are not the greatest for the homeware stuff, but I did find these glasses that are really cute. They're like mid-century and they have this silver on the inside and then the little like stars. There's a set of five of them. So I'm gonna grab these. I think they'd be really pretty for the holidays too. Mom just found this. Do you wanna share it with them, Mom? Cake plate. Cause I love okay, cake. Okay, well, you gotta go down. Oh, there you are. <laughs> cake stand, cause I love cake. It's cute. Wood, wood base. Yeah, and it kind of has like a beachy feel too, like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I am now in the sweater. I just spotted this sweater and I love the argyle print, but then the sleeves are like kind of puffy. And I've been loving these just like kind of earth tone colors right now. And I'm gonna look through some of these other sweaters and tops they have here. I kind of like this cold water creek jacket. I don't know, I kind of want it to be a little bit more oversized. My mom's looking for wool sweaters because she's gonna repurpose them to make some mittens. And she just found this one, but I'm like, no, I like it too much. Isn't that so cool? I love this color. And then I also found this one, which is kind of fun. It kind of has like these swirly patterns on there. I'm over in the dress section now. I am going to try to look for something for the holidays. I have one nice holiday party that I'm going to. So I'd like to find like a cool vintage dress to wear to it. So I'm gonna look through the dresses now. single dress but let's go look at the jackets because the jacket section was like pop it this is way too big look at this like silk green quilted 
jacket they have a ton of vintage coats today like look at this one the liner i also thought this one was really cool i love this fabric and it has like the little waist belt in the back this is a cool members only down jacket i've always wanted to own a members only jacket super puffy i'm thinking i want to go look at maybe the pants now So the only pants I found were these plaid pants um, and I feel like they could be styled super casually with maybe like some boots. They're loft and they feel really good quality so I'm gonna try them on and see if they work. I had two people come up to me and they were so nice. Um, if you ever see me out in the thrift store please come say hi because I love meeting you guys especially when it's like you know you feel like you're talking to a screen a lot of the time it's nice to know that people are on the other side. Anyways, they were so nice and I have basically one more section to look through. It's a quick thrift today for me. Look at this little Topshop fleece. It's like cropped and it has the little um, stretchy bands here. These are usually really expensive, so. It's marked down from $20, so it's 50% off. I feel like that's a pretty good price. Very trendy and cute. I love the drawstrings. All right, I didn't find any other sweaters, so we're gonna quickly go try on. I definitely need to wear like a little shirt under this because it's a little bit scratchy, but I love the pattern and this color. Isn't that so cute? Yeah, it is. Here's the Top Shop fleece crop. It's so cute. This is probably my favorite thing I found. Here is the yellow cropped sweater. And I'm just, I guess I'm not sure about this little pattern. I just feel like I wouldn't reach for it because this is just not a color I would go for. So I think I'm gonna pass on this one. This one is just too big because it has a little bit of like a puff sleeve here. It looks really weird, so I'm gonna pass on this one too. I put the pants on over my leggings and like the waist, you can see is kind of like gapping. These hips were donated by my mom and um, they're not fitting. You can see the pockets kind of pull, so always the issue, always the issue is the bum. We're gonna do a haul, okay? Mother, daughter, haul. The Topshop fleece, yep. love this. The blue kind of, I don't know, it's like Argyle. Sort of print sweater i'm gonna get the target scarf it's so soft and i feel like this is gonna be oh, so nice cold. yeah when it's cold here i got a set of five of the little vintage glasses and i think that's it for me what did you get mom oh i got the cake plate and a sweater to cut up to make mittens out of and a columbia vest that's yep. it i love it great job all right we're gonna leave and go home now. I will style up everything for you guys when I get home, including just showing you some of the pieces I got at the antique mall as well. So we'll see you guys at home. So I am back from a thrift store and I'm first gonna start off by showing you everything I picked up at the Hill Antique Market and the homeware piece I got from the thrift store. So let me show you those and then I will show you the couple clothing items I picked up. I didn't get a ton, but my mom and I just had a really good time. It's been honestly a couple years since we've gotten to thrift together because of COVID. So it was just really Really nice to spend time with her and yeah we had a good time here is my Christmas tree I did a disco ball topper and look how pretty it is when the light shines in in the daytime it like spreads it all over the walls but here are the vintage ornaments that I picked up at the hill antique market fun fact my aunt has these ornaments that she received when she was a child so I just thought that was really fun that I have kind of a memory behind them. I think they look really nice with my tree because I kind of did a disco vintage sort of like pink and red theme this year. You can see all my little vintage disco balls. And just because we're already here, I'm gonna go ahead and just show you some of my other Christmas decor because it's so cute. These are some stockings I made a couple years ago. And then I just added this little faux garland up here. They're made from a vintage quilt. Not perfect, but I think they look really cute with my 
pink and red ornaments over here. And then here's my little bottle brush tree collection. Some of them are thrifted, some of them are just from Target. Thrifted wreath with a bunch of thrifted ornaments. Just love how it turned out. And then here is one of four of the little dye cigarette ashtrays I picked up. I'm using them as bud vases right now to propagate some of my pothos plants. I just filled them up with water and they look super cute. And I have them across my whole house. So I have one here. I just have one sitting over here with nothing in it. And then I have a couple sitting on my entryway table that are propagation stations too. I just think they're so cheeky and cute. And the only homeware piece I picked up from the thrift store were these vintage, I think mid-century glasses, judging by the stars that are on them. And they have this kind of inside silver plating. They're really nice and I've been using them for cocktails, perfect for like holiday cocktails recently. I just love them, they're so festive. And I think they match like the aesthetic of our other glasses too. So I was really stoked to find these. I'm starting off with my favorite piece of clothing I picked up from Family Thrift. This is just so comfortable and it's such a, like an elevated sweatshirt sort of fleece. It's casual, but it still feels super trendy. Kind of that like athleisure wear that we're seeing right now. And I think I'd probably just layer it up with other things to kind of just make it look Kind of streetwear cool so i just have a brown turtleneck underneath my levi rib cage my platform converses and then i'd probably throw a jacket over this so i just threw on this brown coat also thrifted my sunnies i think it just kind of adds like a cool girl vibe to this and then this thrifted nine west snake skin bag the styling really helped to kind of make it a little bit more unique and not like street style athleisure wear the next thing i picked up was this giant scarf it's originally from target and it has kind of a blue and brown plaid to it i chose to pair it with this plaid jacket that i have i kept on just kind of like neutral top and jeans and then i did these fun new balance dad sneakers that i thrifted with Liv when i was in chicago i feel like again it just makes it kind of like cool casual on the go but still like trendy and chic i think i'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this in the next couple months as it gets super cold here in st louis so i'm happy to up my scarf game and it's so soft and the last thing i picked up was this incredible wool sweater it has this like geometric pattern and this bright kind of like matisse blue and when i was thinking about how to style it i remembered i had these pants that i thrifted here and basically the exact same shade so i decided to do like a monochromatic sort of styling with this i love this because i love this shade of blue I rolled up the hem of the pants to kind of make them a little bit more casual, Everlane sneakers, and then I topped it off with this vintage thrifted bag. It has all these different color beads on there, and I like that it added a little bit of extra color while still going along with that blue color in the rest of the outfit. So that is it for today's mother-daughter thrifting. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me and my 20, my mom. She's just where I get all of my thrift inspiration from and she's really what started my love of thrifting so we really owe it all to carol my mother shout out to her if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe i post videos every sunday and i'd love to see you back around here you can also follow me on instagram at taylor Main style and until the next video i'll see you guys bye is it still on hmm? it's still recording